Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. Just walking out in the bay. It's just a beautiful morning. And uh, there's a lot to cover. But, uh, you know, we've got real problems when it comes to the big guys getting shut down and how you have to look at this for what it is. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Today we have a sponsor of the Satellite Phone Store and I will cover them a little bit, but uh, let's get right into it. Walmart. Walmart has health clinics that they announced. And uh, to give you guys an idea, uh, when I was in the medical space, this was going to be the thing that was going to revolutionize everything with healthcare. And uh, we've heard about Amazon having these health clinics and Apple wanting to do it. And uh, Walmart did it, Walmart did it first. They opened up 51 of these health clinics that were located next to Walmart superstores. And this was going to be the thing that was going to revolutionize doctor's visits, getting lab work done, getting everything done to expedite your health at an inexpensive price. Well, not so fast. You know, they opened up the 51 and raved about what a success it was. And here in Southern California, they even have Walmart labs where they've worked on different technology for diabetes, different technology to make it less expensive for different uh, health ailments that we all have, heart disease, things like that. So these labs were not successful. They were not sustainable. They have lost a tremendous amount of money on these labs. They were going to open up 75 more labs and didn't do it. Now they're closing all 51 of the labs down. All 51 are done, down for the count. Now, it's kind of funny, okay? When I was in the medical space, I used to have large events, conferences, and I would have mixers every month. Some months I would have two and three mixers in a month, okay? LA, Orange County, San Diego. And the last big mixer that I had was in Carlsbad, California in February of 2020, okay? Now, flash forward, flash back, excuse me, at this, and uh, Walmart Labs is going to have their first medical event because they attended my events. And if this monkey Dan can get, you know, 150 people on a Monday night, pff, we're Walmart, we're gonna do much better. So they set up a date, well, we had set up a date. Both of us didn't know it was gonna be on the same date. And uh, somebody from Walmart reached out to me and said, well, it looks like you guys are gonna have to move your date because it's, this, you know, basically the same freeway off ramp. It's basically the same area I'm like, I'm not changing anything, guys. We're, you know, I'm Dan and this is what we do and we're gonna have a very successful event. And Walmart ugh, scoffed and, you know, told everybody not to waste their time with my event and huge, okay? Had a, we had a huge turnout and the best thing about this, and I've told this story before, was that people were at the Walmart event and said, you know, Dan's got his event tonight. We should go over to Dan's event and they called and they're like, hey, what if we came over? You got room for us? There's like 15 of us that already said yes. I'm like, yeah, I'll give you guys a deal. Cause it was, you know, I think it was 25 or 30 bucks to walk in the door and I made him a deal. Come on over. They brought over a couple dozen people like it was nothing. And we had one of my biggest crowds ever and it was great. But again, just because you're Walmart or you're Amazon or you're Apple or you're Microsoft or any of these people, you just think that you're going to open things and it's just going to miraculously bring people there and it doesn't always work, okay? doesn't always work. There is a real problem with the cyber attacks. And again, guys, make sure you have your VPN. We talked about that, I think yesterday, the VPN sponsor was on here. But you need to have a way to protect yourself. London Drugs in Canada has 78 drugstores in Canada that are virtually shut down right now because of a cyber attack. Okay? Terrible. Again, when do you guys get fired? When do they fire the IT people that are not protecting themselves? I was in a, a restaurant today and this guy who's just, uh, you know, a self-professed nerd of technology has the VPN that I recommend, private internet access. And everybody should have this, Dan, it's so safe. People don't realize how dangerous it is. Well, these labs and these pharmacies that have your data, and you know the personal information that you have with these pharmacies, London Drugs in Canada, 78 stores are shut down. It's so bad 
that they deal with such a, a, a large amount of elderly people. They're like, hey, if you need drugs and you're out of drugs, you need to contact us and we'll try to fill prescriptions by hand with your individual pharmacist that knows you. So they're pulling cards, guys. They don't have access to the computers right now to make sure that people can get access to their pharmaceuticals. And again, if you are taking medication that you have to take, make sure you stock up on it right now, guys. It is crucial that you try to get a one month supply in case something like this happens, because London Drugs is gonna happen. The next thing is United Health. United Health got hit with a cyber attack and all the doctors that deal with them cannot get paid, cannot deal with uh, claims and they're not being able to process claims to where they have a $15 million black backlog right now in claims. Doctors are having to go into their own pocket to pay for things to keep things going because the suppliers are like, we don't care. It's not our problem. That's your problem that you can't get paid through your insurance company. So they're making doctors go into their own pocket to pay for this. Who can afford that? Okay. One doctor, it's almost 80 grand right now out of his pocket just to keep things going right now. So you guys haven't seen anything yet. Okay. Let me know what you think about this so far but there's a lot more to cover. It's a beautiful morning out here. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. The instability of the stock market and will the Fed raise rates, will they lower rates, are they gonna stay the same, has done one thing, and that has driven up the price of gold. As things get more unstable, gold is only gonna go in one direction, and that's up. Do yourself a favor and call Patriot Gold today, 888 888- 330-1431. Do it now before it's too late. They have 401ks, IRAs, and they will send out a free investor guide and answer all your questions. Contact them today and find out how gold can make a huge difference in your retirement. Reach out today, 888-330-1431. I'm not just a spokesman, I'm a client of theirs. Their customer service is the absolute best in the industry. For over seven years in a row, they've been rated number one. Contact them today. Let them know that I allegedly sent you. But look at how many people are buying gold right now. You don't want to miss out on this. They're predicting that gold could go well above $3,000 an ounce, and you don't want to miss it. Use the link below or call them today. Man, Elon Musk does not mess around. You know, he laid off, it looks like 14,000 people. Now there's hundreds of more executives that are gone and they're going to do everything they can to cut costs at Tesla and slow things down there. Now, you know, yesterday's video, I had a friend that sent me a video of the self-driving car. Guys, this was, they freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, Dan, you shared that. But that's half the story, okay? Here's two women going to the wine festival in Phoenix and they're gonna go have a good time. They hop in that Waymu car, you know, and hello, Michelle, you know, and. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hello, Waymo. You're my favorite driver. Take us to party. You know, they sent me more video. Here's the problem with this, that they didn't tell me till after I ran the video and that the car in the downtown Phoenix area where this event is being held, there's a bunch of one-way streets. The driverless car was totally confused and kept circling and circling and circling. And they freaked out. They're like, what do we do? Well, we have to jump out of the car. So when the car slowed down at the next intersection, opened the door and they both got out and let the car drive, you know, ride is done. So again, it wasn't perfect. It's a mess. And again, what they told me was they went to, they scheduled it to go to a restaurant that was two doors down, but it was a one way street this way and a one-way street this way, and you had to make a turn. And the car was totally confused because 
you know, the restaurant was two doors down. So it kept circling the block, circling the block, speed up, slow down. So again, if this is for you, enjoy, good luck. Here's a perfect example. And I didn't know this until after they saw the video. Oh, you showed our video. That, that's, that thing was a disaster. It was an absolute nightmare, they said. So I wish I had the picture, but they said the, the Waymo app on that just kept showing the car going in circles, okay? So who wants that, okay? So that's the thing that Elon Musk is selling to everybody. They don't care about the cars. That technology is what the future is. Okay, so, you know, Southwest Airlines, they just agreed to pay for delays. $90 million in vouchers right now for people that are delayed and have flights canceled. They're also going to give you, you know, 50 and $75 fees if your flight is delayed three hours or more. Is this enough? I don't know if it is or not. I think it's crazy. I think that, uh, Airlines treat us horribly right now, and it's cattle, and God, it used to just be such a great experience to go fly. That's why these smaller airlines like JSX are doing so well, because people want to be treated nice again. They want to be appreciated. They want to have a drink and fly and not be packed in there like cattle, and uh, it's terrible, you know? You fly places like Spirit and Frontier, and they're horrible experiences. Now, I have people that write me and say, you just need to know how to do that, Dan. You just need to understand that this is no frills. And if you understood that, you'd be fine. Well, no, I don't want to fly that. I don't want to do anything like that, okay? Especially when I'm sitting on a plane for four hours. You know, with the economy, one day it's up, one day it's down. We've turned the corner. We haven't turned the corner. We're headed for a hard landing. We're headed for a soft landing. Oh, this is great. Oh, no, it's not. Gold's up, gold's down. You know, here's the thing, guys. Wages that they thought were going to be at uh, increased by 1%, one percent, one up 1.2%, which is a bad sign for inflation. None of us want persistent inflation. We cannot afford this. We cannot afford the fact that things just keep going in the opposite direction and prices continue to rise in everything, okay? The Fed steps forward and tells us, hey, you know, it doesn't look like we're gonna lower interest rates anytime soon and the market takes a tailspin yesterday. So you're going to see this happen more and more and more. The instability is what you can count on. The fact that things are not good and everybody wants to sit there and tell me how great it is, you know? I talked about Florida and Florida real estate recently and how it's unaffordable, okay? And you have the problem with the homeowners associations that are raising these rates because they're affected by their insurance and taxes and everything else that they have to deal with just like you do. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. That's what we're all experiencing. And there are thousands of houses available for sale. Now, some people don't need to sell. Some people are gonna weather the storm, but there are a lot of people that bought these houses at top dollar and are completely tapped out. Done. Done, done, Daru, it's finished, okay? Just a matter of time until these assets start to depreciate and the domino of people lowering the prices, okay? The other thing is Adam Newman. He's the guy that used to own WeWork and got ousted and he's a freak and he's kind of a strange dude and they made a movie that Jared Leto starred in and uh, a miniseries and really odd, strange guy, but he offered $650 million to take the company over again and got it rejected. In fact, the Oprah Grumman group that bought it, think about this, they got, got an approval through bankruptcy, they're going to give up $4 billion in debt. So people that were out there that are owed money by this company are about to get stiffed and SoftBank steps forward and gives them a new $350 million loan. So, you know, do you want to go rent from WeWork right now? Does that interest you at all? Okay. I'm telling you guys, you can get such a cheaper price on an office by negotiating it yourself than having a WeWork deal right now. And it's absolutely incredibly expensive and I hate the communal work environment. There's times it's fun for mixers and events and things like that, 
but for productivity and free love, you know, no, it doesn't work, guys. It absolutely does not work. You know, we talked about Walmart earlier, and one thing that they're doing that people have written me about is they're going to have, you know, uh, products for the generations, Gen X, Gen Z, Gen Y, boomer products. How insane is that? How ridiculous is that? That you're going to have specific products for people in their 20s and different pricing for people with different products because they have different needs. I, I thought we all needed toothpaste. We all needed shampoo and sh uh, soap and toothbrushes. No, 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 it's gonna be specific to the age group. It's insane, guys, absolutely insane. So I'm sure that'll be a huge success just like their health clinics were, okay? Let me know what you think about that stuff so far. But uh, a lot of problems, you know, out there. Real estate agents at Keller Williams had a great story sent to me where there's profit participation when you're a Keller Williams agent. And based on when you were there, you were either vested or not vested and you had to wait a certain period of time and then you could share in the profit from the success of the agents and the sales in the area. And then in 2020, they changed it. Oh, no, no, you guys don't qualify. In fact, you lose your vesting if you leave the firm. So now there's a class action lawsuit. And if you read the story below, kind of agree with the agents because they got hosed, you know? They, they got taken advantage of. And if anybody's a Keller Williams agent, you wanna explain this to me more in detail and how you think it's unfair, let me know and I'll share it with everybody. One thing we've talked about in the past is what's going to happen to the stock market if interest rates continue to rise. The 10-year bonds right now, this is a real problem. Greg Manorino, who's a great guy, have been in his house when he took care of the uh, World War II survivor. He was there and he's just absolutely fantastic. Okay, just a, just a good guy. But Greg believes that if we go over 5% on the 10-year bonds, we're gonna have a real problem, okay? And he has this thing called an MMRI, which is the Manorino Market Indicator. And he's got a number, 311.7. He says if it hits that, the stock market's not gonna like it. That's where we're at right now. We're right at 309. Take a look at this below, but other people are now talking about this, that if the bonds hit 5%, all hell could break loose, okay? So get ready for that. Now, one thing that was crazy was we had, um, Bob sent me a story about recalled meat and prosciutto out of Germany was not inspected properly. And it was from the, I wanna get the company name right. It was uh, on the coin shop, North American Incorporated, had 100,000 pounds of prosciutto that was never inspected. And they shipped it to stores. California, uh, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia. Again, if you have this stuff, look at it and send it back, guys, because again, uninspected meat, okay? That somebody thinks there's a concern, so don't be eating that anytime soon. Um, going back to Greg Manorino and his Manorino market indicator, I will leave that below again for you guys. But guys, it's very precarious right now. People keep looking at the Dow Jones as the, you know, how's it doing, how's it doing? And it's nothing to do with it. It's going to be the banks locking up. You're going to see a credit freeze. You're going to see a problem with the Fed and with the banking situation where you're going to have credit completely dry up. And that's when everything's going to shut down. The fact that people are holding their breath for a, you know, rate cut is insanity. What could this do? Seriously, if the Fed today instead had an emergency uh, quarter of a point rate cut, what would that do? You think that would really lower the price of, uh, uh, you know, real estate loans? It's not going to. You're gonna have mortgages still as high as they are. They're going up right now, in fact. So let me know what you think about this and uh, share your thoughts so far. I'm gonna finish this video with these last few stories. And the first things first, Dave and Busters, the adult arcade, 
they just announced that they want to have gambling in some of their locations where you can have legalized gambling and bet on the games that you're playing. The video games, the games of chance, ski ball type of things, you know, win your tokens and also gamble on it now. They want to have that. That's insane, guys, okay? So there's always a degenerate gambler someplace, and there's that. The Biden administration just changed the energy codes for new construction. It will cost you, think about this, $31,000 more for each new house when they kick this in to gear later on this year for all the energy saving stuff. It will take 99 years to pay itself back. So you have all these green rules that are not going to do anything but cost you money for 99 years. And by the way, all of us will be dead in 99 years. So you're never going to get the $31,000 back from this. So MedMen was a huge marijuana company that opened up to be the Mercedes Benz of dispensaries. And they were going to sell this and go public and they were going to make money hand over fist, but they were going to make the experience elite and great. And you know what? They went bankrupt, just filed for bankruptcy right now. They're done, down for the count, never made any money, had the stock issued, ran the stock price up, and then had problems with executives and problems with insider trading and different issues, and now the company's down for the count. So, just more of the same, guys, more of the same. And uh, final thing, and this is funny, you know, you hear about different United Airlines, different, uh, uh, you know, Delta Airlines problems. There is an attorney, Jake Linsk, who lives in uh, Queens, New York, on the water. And over the weekend, one of those emergency slides from a Delta flight fell off the plane and got washed ashore in his backyard, okay? On the rocks, read the story below. Jake is suing Delta right now. So isn't that just timely to say the least? So I wonder if he gets to be a witness to this for his own lawsuit, okay? You lawyers can let me know about that. But isn't that crazy? Okay, <laughs> it just watches up on the guy litigating the case, okay? They were looking for it for three days. Found it in Jake's backyard, uh-oh, uh-oh. I know the lawyers out there are laughing right now. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Join our email list because one just went out and boy, did you miss a good one. So click below and join the email list. If you want to get a hold of me, it's hello at iallegedly.com. All the great things that are happening. If you want to mail me anything via snail mail, you can do that too and the address is below. I will see you guys very soon. A lot of cool stuff is about to happen.